Hey, everybody, and welcome. Happy Thursday. It is I, your songwriting partner, your co-producer, and as always, your friend, Joe CB. Happy Thursday, guys. And Thursday is part of our creative writing series. And this episode is what we like to call Picture This. Picture this is when I show you a photograph, an image, a drawing, an artist rendition, a Google image of something that I show you, I present to you, and your job is to write a chorus to it. It doesn't have to be necessarily a chorus, but I would like it to be a chorus. You can write a poetic passage, something that pertains to the, to the picture. It has to tell a story, and the other part of it is it has to rhyme. That's the other, you know, that's, you know, of course, because we're writing songs here. So, um, but if you don't want to go all out and write a song, you can just write a poem. Just as long as it rhymes, it makes sense, and tells a story, okay? Why do we do this? We do this because, um, well, it's just a great way to get in touch with your um, creative side. Uh, I say this every week, and I'm not going to ever stop saying this because it's so true. Um, you don't always, you're not always chock full of ideas. And... Uh, this is a really good way to get your motor started, jumpstart your creative side. And, you know, this happens to me with movies all the time. Like, um, I can watch movies. I can watch um, a short, you know, uh, you know, even a TV show. Sometimes a certain episode can just inspire you to want to come up with things that you think are going to be you know, um, could make a great story if you put it to music or even just a poem. Um, I do this all the time. I've been doing it for years. And when I, you know, and, and sometimes it's not that I don't even have any ideas up here, but it just watching something will just set off ideas. So I started to do it when I couldn't think of things and I had to be creative at a certain time. Like when I had my own studio, I, I told you guys this, you know, um, we'd have a writing session. Somebody was coming over at four o'clock. We had to write with them from four to eight, four to nine o'clock at night. We had to have something done, even if we didn't have anything in the, uh, you know, on the stove yet. We had to wait till they came and then we started throwing ideas around. So sometimes that's a good way to get things just cooking mentally. And it also gives you a chance to, just like the ghostwriting class, does this is another um this is another uh thing that you can do where you go in a room you shut the door um turn your ringer off in your phone so you know this is not something i want you to be doing while you're multitasking doing 20 different things you know i don't want you balancing your checkbook while you're trying to do this exercise it's not going to work um and you know when i give you the picture i want you to really study the picture and not just study it. I want you to become part of the picture and really write down everything that you're feeling looking at that photograph or that drawing or whatever it is that I give you the subject matter. Really look at it, you know, and then and then go inside here, really jump in here and just think of all kinds of things, you know, make a movie out of that still image, you know, I tell you guys that all the time. Um, and it's so true. It's a, it's a great way to do it. It's a great way to look at, you know, get inside that picture. And the best way to do that is not to be around other people. I want you to go in a room by yourself and shut the door and then, you know, put aside two hours, really and really zone out and think about it, and then take a piece of paper, start writing down your ideas. Look at the picture, what does it make you think about? It could be a picture of a dog. If it makes you think about ice cream, then maybe you took your dog, who was a Scotty Terrier, and the picture's a Scottish Terrier dog, and you used to go walk down the street when you took him for a walk to go get ice cream. That's a legitimate, uh, topic. If that's what it means to you, there's no wrong way to do it. You, like I tell you guys this all the time, this is your universe. So I want you to look at that picture and write whatever you see in that picture. What you see and what I see are different. You know, it makes me think of something different, you know, 
Every single person, if you gave that picture to every single person, they're going to see a different thing in it. You know, I mean, topically, it's, it's going to be the same, but not if you start really daydreaming about it. Then you start to, you're creating all these other scenarios. And then, you know, it leads you down all these little roads. Go down those little roads and see where those roads take you. That's part of the fun, you know? That's really part of the fun. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna show you the image. So here we go, here's the image. All right, and we're back. It's a man and a woman underwater kissing, you know? I just thought it was cool. The angle, you know, whoever took the picture was below them and they're like taking the picture up, looking up at them. So I thought that was really cool. I hope you like that picture. It's really neat. It really sent a lot of uh, images through my head. You know, I, I really, I saw a lot of stuff for it. So, um, you know, and the, it made me start to even go into like old relationships I've had or even, you know, the one I have with Lang. Um, just things we've done in the past that were touching and romantic, you know. Um, so you can go through your own mind or, you know, um, or watch a movie, you know, that has like, you know, it's, it's a romance or it has a, you know, a, you know, it's got you know, love interest in the film, you know? And, uh, but I just thought that picture captured a certain thing that um, I just thought was cool, you know? Um, it was just a really neat shot. And so that sent me going. So I'm gonna read you the words that I wrote based on that photograph, okay? So, and like I said, your results may vary. You might, you know, yours is going to be completely different than mine. And it should be. I want you guys to really, you know, like I said, tell a story. It's got to rhyme, but it's got to tell a story. It's got to make sense. It can't just rhyme. Okay. Um, so here's what I wrote. I wrote, there's something about you. I can't explain it. When you're around, my heart can't contain it. And you... Make me feel like my feet can't touch the ground. There's something about you that makes me crazy. My heart is racing. My head is hazy. And you make me feel brand new because there's something about you. So, you know, I kept looking at that picture and it just seemed like and again, this is me. My imagination goes way out there. It just felt like, I don't know. In that picture, I, I saw so much trust between these two people. An honesty that I really thought was cool. I just, and I, I have felt that before myself with, you know, especially with, with Ling, you know, we've been together a long time. And, uh, Sometimes there's feelings that go beyond words, you know, there's a deep connection. And uh, so that's what I wrote, but I, I didn't just come right out and write that. I mean, it took a long time to, you know, first I had to, you know, scope out the picture and then I had to daydream on it and really daydream on it and really like try to find all these roads I could go down. I was even picturing like, you know, they went away on this vacation and it was just this wonderful, great romantic getaway. They never did this before yet. So this is like new in their relationship. And, um, you know, and, and I have felt those feelings. So like, I just wrote from all those places that I've been personally and wrote those ideas down. So, <clears throat> that's how I came up with what I came up with. Now, I really want everybody who's watching this to really look at that photograph, study it, daydream it, 
get in it. I told you, don't be watching TV while you're doing this. Don't make a sandwich while you're doing it. Only look at that picture, okay? And really get into it. And then I want you to take a piece of paper. I want you to write down all the points in the picture or all the things that makes you think. And then work out those things. Don't worry about rhyming in the beginning. That takes time. So get your story first and then start to come up with words that just stick out in your head. Like, you know, what's the first word you think of when you look at that picture? Write that down. The first thing that that picture makes you think, write it down, okay? They're kissing underwater. You could write kissing underwater. That's entirely up to you. You don't have to create this whole, um, you know, indirect story. It can be exactly what you're looking at. You know, and then it could be way out in the stratosphere of your imagination. So, again, it's entirely up to you what you write. All right, guys, that is all the time that we have for tonight. I can't wait to see what you wrote for this. Um, I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope you like what I wrote to it. Um, until tomorrow, this is your songwriting partner, your co-producer, and as always, your friend Joe CB signing off. And then tomorrow is Friday, and we're going to write a melody to the words that I wrote. So it should be fun. Uh, all right, guys, have a wonderful night. I love you. I miss you. And I will see you guys tomorrow. All right, peace. Peace.